Day 31 of working on my indie game. Before we begin, here are my last five subscribers. Subscribe to be on the list tomorrow. Around the start of this project, I ended up creating the real-time pixelated lighting system present in all of my videos, and I really haven't changed it at all aside from making it Forward Plus compatible. So today, I decided to modify it a little bit. Firstly, I think soft shadows were ruining my game because it changes the blur amount based on the object's position. So when you even slightly moved your arms, it would destroy the look and feel of the game. So just modified the shader to clamp it between 0 and 1 to keep it visually cohesive. After that I decided to add some ambient occlusion as a test to see if I would like it or not. And I think it looks decent so in the next coming days instead of having it as a post-processing pass adding more draw calls to the game. We'll keep it under one single material and use some HLSL to coat it. If this video gets 25 likes by October 20th, I will make the lighting open source so you can use it in your own Unity games. Like and comment for day 32.